Well, the holiday is just about a week away. Plenty of us are starting to feel the pinch. About 74% of Americans say that Christmas is the most stressful holiday of the year. Here to tell us about how to handle some of that holiday stress is Dr. Tim Perry with Frontier Health. Dr. Perry, thanks for coming back on First at Four. Absolutely, thank you. So we know that Christmas time, it can be so fun for many, but also a lot of stress. There's parties, you have to buy the gifts, you have to get the food ready. How do we manage all of this? Well, you know, there's a lot of ambivalence this time of year. We look forward to all the hoopla and all mm -hmm. the excitement about it, but at the same time, we kind of dread it and, and are anxious for it to be over with. Absolutely. And push kind of to have that. It disrupts our, our, our normality and adds stress to already stressful lives. There are some things we can do, and the mm -hmm. first thing is to acknowledge that you're overstressed, <laughs> that it's just too stressful. This is this is stress, and mm -hmm. express express that to the people you care about and that love you and that you support you, so that they understand you're feeling the stress. Second is a big one, and that's lower the bar of perfection. Mm -hmm. We want the perfect tree, the perfect meal, the perfect gathering, the perfect gift, and it, there's going to be mistakes and there's going to be problems and things will happen and it won't always be perfect and. When we lower that bar, it gives us a little bit of flexibility to accept mistakes and mishaps and things like that that happens. And let's talk a little bit when it comes to maybe navigating some of these family conversations that you might be dreading or things of that nature. What are some good ways to kind of get yourself prepared for those situations? One is to try to avoid uh, the differences that you have with other people. Try to put your differences aside because those differences come out, especially when you're under stress through friction and hostility. Mm -hmm. And we overly say things that we don't mean to say and we let those words come out. So take a moment to take a deep breath think about the other person's opinions, their thoughts. They may want to do something different than the traditions that we were accustomed to doing, and that's okay. There are differences between us, so putting aside those differences to understand somebody else's wishes and desires, even if it's going to be something changing that's not used to for the traditions that we've had, allowing that, and then mindfulness of what you actually say. Kindness is one of the greatest gifts you can give in the holiday season. And I know that a lot of people are running around, maybe they have different parties to go to, different gatherings, things of that nature. But how do you know that maybe that last one is just too much for you? How do you set that boundary? For when you start feeling like it's, a, it's disrupting to your daily life, you're getting anxious about mm -hmm. dreading the next social, the next event, the next thing that's on your plate to do, allow yourself the right to say, I can't do anymore. Mm -hmm. I need to stop. This is all I can take because I can't do everything for everybody all the time. You are a human being and you have to take care of yourself, which is a big part of helping to deal with stress is self-care. And many of us don't do very good at that during the holidays. And last one for you before we let you go, another big stress this time of year is of course financial stress when it comes to buying gifts and maybe putting food on the table. Let's talk a little bit about how to navigate that. Well, first off is budget. Mm -hmm. One of the things that a recent poll came out in uh, in November from the uh, published in APA, American Psychological Association, was that finances is the number one stressor this holiday season. Over 70% of Americans reported in that survey Survey, that they were going to spend too much. Mm -hmm. They knew that ahead of time. Another 50% said they didn't have enough money to spend that they wanted to because of trying to make ends meet and, and pay for essentials. So set yourself a budget. Try to stick to that budget. Know mm -hmm. what's within your means. You don't always have to give a bought gift or that perfect gift or that expensive gift to show love and affection for somebody. Give something that comes from your heart and it doesn't necessarily have to be something very expensive or purchased. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Perry, thank you so much for joining us and happy holidays to you. But if you're struggling with the stress of the holiday season, you can contact Frontier Health. Their number is right there on the screen. We also have their email address for you. You can do that for more information or for some help this season.